If we have multiple customers that belong to the same group and we want all of them to have the same credit limit, we can achieve this by using the business partner relationships in SAP S4HANA. Welcome to another video in the SAP S4HANA credit management playlist. In the video today, I will show you how to create the business partner relationships and I will follow this with a quick demo to see the impact of the relationships on the credit check. We can create the business partner relationships from the business partner master data, transaction BP. In my scenario today, I have several branches that belong to the same customer. So I have one customer defined as the head office, and then I have several customers defined as the branches, and I want to connect the branches to the head office from the credit management point of view. So if we check here, I will use AGCM00 as the head office, and AGCM0102 and 03 as the branches. I will go first to the head office and then go to relationships. And here we have relationship category all. I can choose which relationship category I want to create. I can also see if there are any, any relationships already created. So if you see here we have credit management is managed by, and this is the business partner number, and here we have the description. This rule, this relationship is used to define the credit supervisor, the person who is responsible for approving the credit block when it happens to this customer. And here I have my user assigned, so this way I can release the credit block for this customer. Now what I will do is I will create another relationship that will define this business partner as the headquarter or as a superior to the branches. To do this, I will go to the relationship category here and then go to FUKM001, superordinate credit account from. If we use this, it means that this business partner where we are creating the, the relationship now is superior to the other business partners. We also have another one, which is this one, TUKM001, subordinate credit account to. This means that the business partner I am inside now will be a subordinate, so below another business partner. In my case now, this is the head office, so this one will be a superordinate, will be a superior business partner, so I will choose FUKM001, superordinate credit account from, and here I have to choose a credit segment. So when we define the relationships for credit management, they are on the credit segment level. So I will use my credit segment, AG1000, and then here I will insert the branch number, AGCM01. So this is the first branch. I also want to maintain the second one, and also the third one. So now I'm defining the business partner, AGCM00, as a superordinate from all of these three accounts. Once we do this, SAP will automatically create the relationship of a subordinate in all of these three customers. So now if I change the business partner and I go to AGCM01, in the relationships here, if I go to all, you see we have a relationship subordinate credit account to AGCM00. This one has been defined automatically. Once we created the superordinate in AGCM00, SAP created the subordinate in all the branches automatically. Even if we check the other one, AGCM02, you'll find the same thing. Here we also have subordinate. Now if I delete this relationship, so select and then click on delete. Now I have removed the relationship between AGCM02 and, AG and AGCM00. Now let's save and go back to AGCM00. And here you see, we no longer have AGCM02. Now you see the link between the relationships of superordinate and subordinate. In the next step, I will display the credit limits of the head office AGCM00 and the branch AGCM03. And then I will create a sales order for the branch and we can see how the credit check will work. To display the credit limit, I will go back to general data and choose the credit management rule and then go to credit segment. And we are displaying the details of AG1000. This is our credit segment. And here we have a credit limit of 500,000 and an exposure of 515, which means for the head office, we are already beyond the credit limit. So any transaction we do on the credit on the head office should be blocked. Now let's display the branch, AGCM03. Here we have no credit limit and we have a credit exposure of 20,000. So I will change this customer 
and let's say we have a credit limit of 15,000 approve now this customer has a credit limit of 50,000 and an exposure of 20,000 only so he still has some credit limit remaining now let's go and create the sales order first I will save this and then to create the sales order the transaction is VA01 here I will use order type OR and this is my sales area sold to party is AGCM03 the branch and the material is FG01 I will sell 100 pieces and then save and we get this message credit check SAP credit management field because the credit segment AG1000 of partner AGCM00 has a credit limit of 500,000 which is exceeded by 20,000 so now SAP understands that our branch customer AGCM03 is connected to this customer AGCM00 and that it should not exceed the credit limit of the head office and this is exactly our business requirement and also next to this SAP is also checking the credit limit of the branch itself but because we have enough credit limit we are not getting any errors for the credit limit of the branch here but we have another error that the credit segment AG1000 of partner AGCM03 there is a payment behavior which is another criteria for the credit check this one has failed because it has a value of 106 and the maximum should be 60 but this is not related to the credit limit so now we understand how the relationships work in the business partners for credit management and how we can connect several customers under the same uh, head office so the credit check will be performed on the level of the head office and also the branches i hope you found this video interesting and useful if you would like to get access to other videos and to the presentations configuration materials and study notes you can check the channel membership program you can also check the rest of the playlist here the next video here or other interesting videos up there thank you for watching and i'll see you again soon